everybody, I'm Pete, you're watching Backpacker Brothers, and today we're going to be giving you a review of the Aegis Max Ultralight Down Sleeping Bag. First we'll talk about the specs of the Aegis Max, then we'll get it out of the stuff sack and show you some of its features so you can see it unfolded. Then I'll tell you about the field test that I put it through, and finally we'll let you know whether we recommend this Ultralight Sleeping Bag or not. So the specs of the Aegis Max, first of all the price. Currently it's $78 on Amazon and that's one of the main things that draws people to this bag and makes them curious about it is that really great affordable price in comparison to other ultralight sleeping bags that you see out there. The weight is just over 14 ounces. So the Aegis Max is advertised online as a mummy bag so it does hug your body like a mummy bag typically would. But one thing that's different about it is many mummy bags have a hood that your head can lay within and then you can cinch it up. So if it's really cold in the winter, sometimes you need to do that. And the only thing that's actually exposed to the air is a little bit of your face. The Aegis Max does not have that hood. It goes up to right about your neck, but it does have a cinch at the neck so you can cinch it to your neck. So just keep that in mind. It doesn't have a hood. You're probably gonna need to wear a winter hat or something like that as you go down into colder temperatures with the Aegis Max. One thing to note about the Aegis Max is that the fabric on it is very thin. So you're gonna to wanna to be careful around those typical things like fires, sharp rocks, and branches. A viewer left a comment on a previous video asking if the Aegis Max had a smell to it when I first unboxed it, and that's kind of a rumor that you see going around online. And actually, when I took it out for the first time and unfolded it and let it kind of loft up, I didn't smell anything, and using it on our last trip, it didn't have a smell to it at that time either. So I could say my experience is the Aegis Max does not have a weird smell that some people talk about. So the field test that I put the Aegis Max through, I actually took this on our recent trip to Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore, and if you're interested in seeing more of that trip, we'll have a link down in the description. You should definitely check that out. It was beautiful. So that trip was three days, um, 44 miles. It was two nights in the Aegis Max, and the temperatures during the day were in the 70s, and at night the coldest it got was probably about 45 degrees. And the way I used this was sleeping in my hammock. So I really used it more of as a top quilt. I unzipped it and then I put my feet in the bottom, pulled it up over me. And I have to say, it did exactly what it was advertised to do. I was super comfortable in those temperatures, no problem. I was simply wearing um, merino long johns and then a t-shirt that I hiked in both days. So pretty minimal clothing. This kept me warm. I, I was you know never shivering, anything like that. I didn't have to put my down coat on to keep warm in addition to the Aegis Max, so it did what it's supposed to do in those temperatures. In the 40 degrees, I was extremely comfortable. I will say I'm a bit of a warm sleeper. I'm always kind of a little bit warm, but I think this could definitely work for the average person going into the 40s. And if you put on some merino wool clothing and you throw on a down jacket, I think you could take this down into the 30s, but definitely know that you might be pushing it a little bit if you're a person who tends to be colder. So overall, I loved it. Also, it was great putting this in my pack instead of a normal sleeping bag that I'm used to. When I really cinched this down, it was just really enjoyable to have a sleeping bag that was so small. That was a major plus too. It packs down really small. So overall, Backpacker Brothers, we would recommend the Aegis Max. I was impressed with it out on the trail and as long as you take care of it the way you would any other you know sleeping bags or coats that you have that have that thin fabric if you do that and take care of it i don't see any reason why this shouldn't last you multiple seasons just like any other piece of gear and it did what it's advertised to do it went down into the 40s comfortably i think you could push it into the 30s and the fact that it's lighter than a lot of sleeping bags and it packs down smaller i mean there's nothing to lose, especially at that price. So I would say check out the Aegis Max. It's Backpacker Brothers approved. 